I actually <laughs> that's very similar. The cat bowl I asked for Christmas asked for for Christmas from mom and dad, so they went out and bought me the cat bowl. And my Five, mom was like, "What's a cat bowl?" Four. I thought it was He's like a bowl for a cat. Counting three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. But up, up, down, up, down, Wildly uninteresting podcast. Oh, hello. Welcome to the 49th episode Never of Wildly Uninteresting Podcast. We're here number. with a beautiful uh, Kayla. I want to pronounce your last name wrong, so go ahead and pronounce it for them. Shut. 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 Yeah. Say my shot, name, shot, too. Shot, it's shot. my fucking house, too. Yeah, God damn Ian's it. Ian's here. So oh. Mm. It's Ian's here. You already yeah, lost. He does live here with me. It doesn't matter. This <laughs> game stupid lost. anyway. So mark that down. You lose. <laughs> All right, well, now yeah, so uh, welcome to the show. It's a it's another <laughs> beautiful day here in Don't Louisville, Kentucky. That's right. Ish. Don't get me mad. Beautiful ish. It's nighttime, so it's pretty. Yeah. I liked it. I've been in uh, my revenge dress all day, so I feel like it's a good day. So, so get Kayla, out. Yeah. I'll watch to the liquor store. You don't want to let that cat out of the bag in time. It's okay. Yeah, you have to like store. build okay. up to that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> build up to the revenge. To the revenge dress. I ain't worried about explaining it so much as the fact that I walked to the liquor store in the sun. Oh, you that's a nice day. Right. Yeah. Were you drunk when you walked to the liquor store? I drank while I was walking to ah. the liquor store. She yeah. wasn't drunk. Smooth she move. was just drinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful way to do it. Thank right? You. So what should people know about Miss Kayla? Oh, God. What, what yeah. makes She's sure? a fantastically wonderful person. I'm a good dancer. Yeah. Great dance. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We might have Sharp to get that on mind. camera. <laughs> yeah. Do pretty much anything. <laughs> I'm like, I'll, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let Ian explain all the important things. Her to mac and cheese me. is still trash. You know what? But Go she puts yourself. effort in. <laughs> so we got, you can dance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. You make shitty mac and cheese. I'm that's writing it down. Show. Ian just won't. Mac <laughs> shitty yeah, mac wait, and cheese. Don't, don't oh, yeah. skip the comfiness and like diminished squeakiness of that couch. Yeah, I did. I do. Yeah. I do build furniture. Oh, she did a number I do on that build bitch. Furniture. <laughs> that is that is a thing. You did. do? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What? What's your favorite thing to oh, build? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've I've successfully built six couches now. That's cool. Six couches. Yeah. Oh my God, I have successfully built nothing. I, was ever. Saying, I don't think I've ever Same really building built couches anything. Is yeah. Kind of a pain in the butt. I wouldn't do it. Um, mm. I like to restore antique things. This damn thing over here with like the slidey That's not deal. Furniture yeah. Dwelling. No, it's furniture related. <laughs> You yes. did some stuff to it, and then I had to fucking put it back together. I've been there we trying go again. to teach him how to fix that. It is helpful. Yeah. See, it, we've noticed that uh, drinking diminishes your uh, ability not to say the F word, RGB. Yes, I've it noticed does. that already. Yeah. God You've damn. lost victoriously. <laughs> Bust my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That is cool. So, how's the, how's the week going for, for everybody? It's been oh, cool. man. A crap week followed by an amazing week. Do you know that there's still good people in the world? Yeah, no, I didn't Would you know like that. To tell I just heard that. <laughs> I just heard, me and Ian went out dancing. Oh yeah, we tried, but the fucking gay bar turned me away because the I gay had bar these shorts will not on. let him in with yeah. shorts. <laughs> so, yeah. How's a gay bar not let you in with shorts? Oh, bro, you can't come in with the gym gay shorts. Bars don't like they me talking about. I suck dick just because I'm playing basketball. Um, well, basketball the, shorts. The gay bar got mad at us because we threw glitter. That's what he told me. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> they just don't want him there. That's terrible stand. Which uh, which gay bar did you go to? Well, we went out to nowhere. Yeah, this nowhere. That's nowhere. a good one. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They usually have I don't pretty good think, That's the one on yeah. Bardstown Road? Yeah. Yeah, we went with... Uh, Contina. Contina, yeah. Okay, cool. It was a fun... You know I what? Like honestly, Contina. for like a heterosexual male, I enjoyed that a hell of a lot. Even getting hit on by guys, I, I like... Yeah, because the bartenders are topless, they're gorgeous, <laughs> and they, you know they're not going to come on to you, so you're, you just, you're, you're safe. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's awesome. It's a, it's a good deal, man. It's It makes you feel good when a, another man hits on you. Uh, that's pretty okay with me yeah because then you know you're doing totally something right <laughs> the minute yeah. the gay guy well i mean it's not like a straight before. dude's hitting on you that would mean you're doing something right oh like, yeah like, like turning right. around on him right i'd rather a girl tell me i'm pretty than a guy tell me i'm pretty i take it more seriously is there any good way to yeah. tell a woman that she's pretty like any good way to be like hey you look fine as i think hell. it depends on how old ah. she is <laughs> yeah. what so as long as she's yeah. above 16 <laughs> 
my gauge started at like 25, <laughs> but yes, they're included too. For me, I think if someone just says, you know, like, you look nice today or yeah. you look pretty today, it's fine. It's... As long as you don't go beyond beautiful. You yeah. can say, you looked very beautiful mm-hmm. and you're not going too far. Anything beyond that. Yeah. If you're not with the girl. You've gone far too far. Yeah. yeah. You need to shut it down ASAP. I think what I, uh, I went up to a lady one time and I asked her, she was like an older lady, which I say older, maybe 38, 40, something like that. So roughly my like, hey. age. Not yeah. younger than you. I was like, yo, do you, do you have a husband or a boyfriend? And if so, I apologize, but you look beautiful today. I think it's okay to tell a woman, yeah. be, even if she you has have like to a ask person. them if they're seeing anybody though. Because even girls who are with someone, it's yeah. still nice to hear, hey, you look nice every now uh-huh. and again. Yeah, you just don't want to hear, "Hey, are you with someone? You look nice." Because uh, then it's, "Well, I'm gonna be with you." Like, why are you asking me this? <laughs> so it gives off the wrong impression when you ask uh, them beforehand. And I think Ooh. as long as you like you shut nope, it down it. right after you say, "Hey, you look nice," or whatever you're saying, and you don't just keep going with it of, "Hey, would you like to go out?" Oh, hey, you want to do this? Oh, hey, you Can know, you feel about smoothies. <laughs> okay. All you gotta yeah. do is wait for. Thank you, and you're allowed to say you're welcome. But then you keep walking. Done. Oh, oh yeah. Just keep walking. Right yeah. Yeah. Keep it moving. Because. It doesn't, That's good to know. Yeah, it doesn't. You don't need to be like, "Damn, Mama, you look fine." <laughs> or that anything seems like fine that. too, though, if you keep moving. <laughs> Yeah, if you Actually, keep no, yeah. Uh, Touche. As long as you keep moving. Yeah, I think I that's mean, the important part. Damn, I'd be like. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want to hear anything else out of his Thumbs mouth. Thumbs up, that's for it. sure. I like hearing that I look good or, or mm-hmm. that I'm doing something right. But I feel like guys give compliments more than women do. For it's sure. It's really hard to get a woman's yeah. uh, input on how you look. Because I guess they think if they give you a. A compliment. Oh, you yeah. Want, if we think a dude looks a, good, no. we tell each other. We'll go tell another girl. We'll exactly. be like, he is good looking. Do you see him over there? Like, we don't go up to the guy and be like, hey, yeah. hey. you're fun. Like, I've hey. had that, though. It's like yeah. chicks are either like completely filthy on the approach. Yeah. Or they do compliment you in a way that it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you look handsome <laughs> handsome for me if i was gonna compliment a guy i'm not going past handsome unless it's you i mean if I right. but a guy, it's usually or you fairly specific. <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah i'll get specific with it yes i yeah. mean i don't i won't be like you look good i'll, I'll be like hey i really like that shirt you're wearing mm-hmm the pants though the, the pants, pants though <laughs> like let me see what's underneath but like it's <laughs> i don't go that far that's yes. too far like, <laughs> but for you i could say that ass looks great in them jeans and it would be fine <laughs> yeah i'd be like okay keep it moving lady. i feel like a better Crazy way to do lady. that is I just wait for him to come home know. from work and have the yeah. apple bottom jeans song playing and just <laughs> be dancing on the fur. couch like this i mean he'll get it <laughs> yes. just point at him when he walks in the door <laughs> you. just you that's right you. <laughs> this one's for you baby <laughs> i don't know man there's like so many approach. there's so many guys <laughs> in my trade though that when they compliment a girl they're just like I don't know. They don't look away. They make eye contact, like weird eye yeah, contact. Are they looking in their eyes or are they looking at their tits? Because that is know, the man. major the right rape. angle. It's That's what we to, call to mask it. Visual rape because yeah, it's they oh come are, on, it's skeezy. It's when you skeezy. when you won't turn your eyes away oh. from some like. You or, need to back up. Well, maybe if you, if you make the swatting motion through the line of vision, <laughs> then then yeah, okay, denied. Well, if you start talking to a guy and like he gets an entire sentence out and then his eyes shift up to your eyes, you're like, conversation's over. You have to just stop. <laughs> go away. If you don't go away, I'm going away. I'm not doing this. That's right. <laughs> the current climate, though, yeah, uh, Damn we the get in trouble climate. now That's when you for keep your mouth shut. And... No, don't don't ever whistle at girls. That's just nasty. Oh no, cat calling is oh, where cat calling properly. is as bad as whistling. Yeah. Ow! Wouldn't cat calling so be baby? just like? I think they're categorizing it all the same now. If you if I say, "Oh, you look good" or whatever, that's a cat call, right? Yeah. That's yeah. how it's been explained to me, and not to do that. I'm well, like, I mean, if you say it, leave it like that. You look good. You look good. Eh, I feel like you. Got going on, lady. Maybe. I don't know. I you and your face. 
essentially, if you're not a creep and you give a girl a compliment, she's not going to be creeped out by it. But if you're a creep and you give a girl a compliment, she can be creeped out. Your by belt it. looks awesome. <laughs> you can't. You. If you have on like belt. a wrestling belt or something great that is awesome, it yeah. makes sense. But if you don't even have on a belt and you're like, what? <laughs> what? What are you so talking about, girl? I don't even wear underwear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, when is the last time you showered? <laughs> yes. Two weeks ago. <laughs> 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 Like about 20 minutes ago. Why did I go to the mall today? <laughs> Y'all went very different directions with that timeline. It's awesome. I think it's easier, uh, especially when I weighed more and I was in the gym all the time, it was easier for me to uh, feel confident to give somebody a compliment. And as I've lost weight and stuff, and I don't think that I look as good, I think that for ugly dudes, it's harder for them to be like, you look pretty, because the girls be like, I'll oh, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> from a dude standard, and this is a question I have, from a dude standard, what does a dude consider another dude to be to be ugly? Because, like, with girls, oh. their standard of beauty is one thing, but, like, what does a guy see when he looks at another guy and says, "Damn, that's, that's a, a good-looking good guy? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I don't I, know. We, oddly enough, we're just kind of talking about it. It's just, there it is. Yeah. That's a nice looking man. Yeah, it's a good looking man. Good looking man. Who was it? I can't remember what it was. And I asked, um, like, for a guy to say someone's a nice looking man. Like, guys have a different standard, I think, anyway. Because dad has said to me, mom and dad were at the house. And they were like, (laughs) hey, check this guy out. Dad said he's the prettiest man you'll ever see. And I thought he was ugly. I just what? did not care for the guy. Well, who the hell was it? What was the context? Hang on, I'll show him to you. It's this uh, Dad Italian. Dad like somebody because they putt well. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's this Italian opera singer's son, and <laughs> <laughs> that's incredibly specific. <laughs> yes, it is. But he's just—I don't know. Dad thinks he's good looking. Mom thinks he's good looking too. But like the I don't know. bartender at the grocery the other day. Bartender it, at that the was grocery. A solid looking dude, right? <laughs> What, what grocery do you the all go bartender to? bartender at the grocery. <laughs> right, That's you know what awesome. I'm talking about, right? That was a solid looking dude, right? Absolutely. What would I, you I'll say made it. him a solid looking dude? His features Wait, and his shit. It was the beard, right? What, the, what was it? I don't remember Google. what he looks like. I was playing along. Where the hell was this? At the Butcher Tongue Grocery. All right, I remember that. Butcher <laughs> Tongue Grocery. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I would say that (laughs) a nice body, a nice body, a chiseled face. uh, But sometimes men look, um, I don't know, sometimes they're off. Like um, female models, they don't look like beautiful, but they're beautiful in a weird way. The ones who look Mm. angry? Yeah, just... Yeah, they look lips. angry. The one, I, I used to model when I was younger. Yeah, they got like the the angry look. The, mm, yes, so serious. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, the world is against me. I look awesome, but I'm so angry. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, Justin Bieber was a pretty little kid, but now oh, he creepy. looks like a just terrible. Well, he's Long a pretty hair, girl. He's been gruffy. through hell and back, man. What kind of hell has Justin Bieber been People through? People hate on him so bring hard. It, bring it on. What kind of hell has Justin Bieber really been through? You just say his name so and half times. of a room wants to hit him in the throat. Do you feel like right? Do you feel like his parents sold him? How old was he when he to started? To another country. Young, or like 13. It, no, I ain't right? into it. No, I ain't into it. No, they sold him <laughs> out. Like uh, at 13, man, he was like, you know, they put him on the internet. They moved him to California. They lived with some random family. Right, they put him up. Hey, I'm listening to Adam. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a, I just don't, you know, I think they sold him out. Like, I'd have problems too, but at was 13, it really that yeah. hard for him though? It probably was hard be for him mad. because at 13, you don't think the way normal people do when i was 15 i got emancipated so i lived on my own since i was 15 so at 13 i imagine like really that's kind of a forced situation and it's really when you kind of are coming into being an adult like and i know they're still like so young they're not adults but like that's where you really learn who you are what you want who you're gonna be what you want to be yeah and if you're just forced into a situation you really don't get the choice to do that especially when you're bringing in money like that because no matter what you want to be paycheck but no matter what you want to be even so you know you're not 
ever going to make more money or be in a better position than you're currently in and you've got like hot chicks supermodels and Miley Cyrus and whatever else wanting to date you Miley. and yeah. like you're that age at that age <laughs> you're just like I'm not going to get any better than this is it yeah. like yeah. and you don't think any further and if your parents are pushing you and your friends are pushing you and then all of a sudden you're stuck yeah yeah well and then you've got the media following you everywhere scrutinizing everything you do or even not even necessarily scrutinizing, but just around saying this is what you're doing right now. Like that would be terrible. I saw an yeah, article and he went out and he looked like a homeless like <laughs> crackhead. And I thought to myself, well, he's having he a moment. Did. Listen, yeah. no, I thought to myself, if I were famous, I'd go out looking the same way because yeah, eventually I'd be, I'd be like, I want the paparazzi <laughs> to quit following me. And if I just look like hell every time I leave the house, they'll put out like six bad articles and then they're going to go follow somebody else. Yeah, they're going to say they're nothing gonna, has yeah. changed with this person. Yeah, this, Maybe one, they, this, this person is stuck like, let's go elsewhere. The story's They might over. like you more. Be uh, like, only oh, if you're doing crazy stuff. Shitty. Only ah. if you're doing crazy stuff. Like the mayor of Toronto that I believe he's passed now, but like... The old man of Toronto, he'd do crazy stuff. People love to watch people downfall. But if you just leave the house looking like crap, like you don't care, and you go sit in the park and feed birds or whatever, you know? Like, because that's <laughs> legit. Up, legit, that's what he was doing in the article. Like, if you just keep going and doing that routine for a few weeks, yeah, the paparazzi is going to be like, yeah, this is boring. I'm not yeah. following this I'm dude I'm tired anymore. of watching this guy feed birds. And he but then one day you bring a shotgun with you. And yeah, then but they're he glad didn't they do that. Him. But he didn't. But do, he and, he, could. and like I said, and he, he dated Miley. You think that that wasn't enough to keep the spotlight off of him? Like people aren't looking at her, going, "Is this thing a robot or an alien?" <laughs> uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, well, I think he's good. Yeah. What? what do you think? Oh, I was just gonna say, I think with Miley, people always want to know what she's doing because she got weird for a little while. So people are gonna forever want to know what she's doing. It could be fifteen years from now, and they're gonna want to know. So. If you're dating her, they're, all eyes are there gonna be go. on her. That'd be weird to be your parents' paycheck. Like you're the breadwinner but of her, all time. I'd like they've never made out. that much money. Get the fuck out of my but house! What about Aiky Breaky Heart? I'm making Come the on. money. Come yeah. on, Aiky Aiky Breaky, Breaky Heart was the best. But then, it, then he came back on Nickelodeon and tried to like ride her wave. He yeah, was he like, "I'm gonna be that. on your TV show, yeah. and I'm gonna put highlights in my hair and dance and <laughs> sing." He did, he did too. He Long totally hair. did. I saw that. Disgusting it old was, man. Yes, it <laughs> was. <laughs> yes, I'd be pit like the mom was all about her being a slut and like you know doing whatever she did. But then like, can you imagine being the dad? He's just like, oh, I'm a part of this. The mom was good but with it because it was money and you know he can re- he can rest on Mulholland Drive. <laughs> Whatever. I guess her best work to date. The trade off though is your daughter's soul. You, <laughs> mean, you, 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 you were an awesome it. dude in a Lynch movie. That's all I you need. You may as well let her be a little bit slutty because he's trying to contain it and it might be worse. It's going to get worse. Yeah. 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 So We've talked about that before. Yes. 12 dudes at once. It's, <laughs> it's oh, that's cool. a lot of dudes at once. But uh, <laughs> Who gives a shit? It's all to make dad angry. <laughs> no, Justin Bieber, that'd be that'd be a hard, uh, hard shoes to fill for mm-hmm. sure. I don't well, know how you go about being that big. Have you guys heard of Sick Kick? No. Sick Kick is a, another Canadian musician. A dude. Everybody believed for the longest time he was Justin Bieber I, because he always wears a mask. And <laughs> really? Yeah, he's actually insanely talented, but... It was pretty solid. Yeah, but um, for the longest time, everybody thought that was Justin Bieber, and it's not. It's definitely not, but it was interesting because it was kind of like people thought for a second, oh, my God, Justin Bieber grew up. He got yeah. this whole new persona. He's wearing a mask so that people don't know it's him, but he's a grown-up. Nope, still the same bitch-ass Justin Bieber. Whoa, whoa, calm down. That whoa. would put him on the same kind well, of like playing he? field as Shia LaBeouf. Does anyone know how old he is? Cool. 20 Justin something. Bieber? 23? I'm going to go with 23. Yeah. Definitely um, not 38. 23 is definitely possible. I'd say 28. Come back to me. Google. 28. I'm just Where'd throwing out go? numbers. I don't know. How old am I? Yeah. So. 35. <laughs> Justin. Don't you mess with me? So I'm reading a new book on uh, being being nice and how you can make it further in the world by being nice and in the business world. Yeah, yeah. You can make uh, it so far, but nice guys finish last. But yo, not compared to this small, small ass book I bought that I'm reading and taking it. Dude, I don't, I don't know. She can look it up though. What's it called? 
Oh, I don't know. Ugh. What book is this that we're talking uh, about? Can I borrow it when you're done with it? So Yeah, awesome. I can send it your way. Let's like see. The more I read it, the more I'm like, oh, well, I do this on a daily basis. And uh, I've done okay in the business world so far. I might, you know, crap you're out. You're killing and it. But Keep as far the momentum. As, do you think, what'd you find? It's called The Power of Nice. Yeah, The Power of Nice. Illinois. Making it in the business world, being nice. Australian. It is. It's all right. There's some things that I'm going to work on as far as being more nice to people about it. Like it's kind of telling you to be overly nice so that even your enemies and the people that hate you can't defeat you. <laughs> right. And then, but look, so I went to the bookstore the oh, other day to buy bitch. that hey, book yeah. about being no, nice. Bitch, <laughs> and I, I bought a nice book and then I bought the Art, Art of War. <laughs> so, oh, I love the about Sun Tzu. How, how, have yeah. you read it yet? No, I uh, I only I read a little bit at, at a time, so I'm not reading the whole thing, just like one it's little awesome. section you'll, at you'll a time. Love it. It's yeah. very, very, it's very, very, It's not a beach awesome. read. It it's, comes in this like this <laughs> leather thing. It's beautifully written. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's oh, I'm, I'm hoping I learn a lot from both. Like if I can be nice, yeah, but implement the art of war in the throats. business world. Yeah. I think. Your Certainly, <laughs> what the idea of being just like nice all the time, no matter what, I think is crap. Like if you're too nice, people are gonna walk all over you, no matter what you're doing. So you can be nice, and then sometimes you just gotta stick it to the man a yeah. little bit. What if it's not about being nice? What if it's about doing the right thing? Yeah, very much. As long as you do the right thing, it doesn't matter if it's nice or not. I'm in my fitness stress. It's not always yeah. about. Being nice. Sometimes yeah. it's about doing the right thing. Yeah, or for sure. Being I agree perceived with that. as nice, even though you're <laughs> like trying to win and get ahead, well, make people perceive you as like, oh, as long dude, as they perceive nice. it as such, you still win. Yeah. I think it's really more of just treat everybody like a human, and if you do that, you're pretty much good to go. Because I'm not nice to every person I've ever met, but I bet if you ask the majority of people who know me. They're like, oh yeah, she's very nice. Yeah, <laughs> cool lady. Yeah, I'm a nice yeah. Cool person lady. until you get on my bad side. What is a bad side? People Ooh. say I don't know if I really have a bad side. So w can somebody express <laughs> the bad side to me? But you know what a bad side is. Tell you us about your bad side. You downplay ass motherfucker. Didn't hear about all about my vengeance stress. I'll tell you about the bad side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The vengeance stress. The vengeance stress. Yeah. So vengeance. I have an ex. He's a horrible human being. If you're listening, Terrible. you're a horrible human being. You suck. Yep. See, so you yeah. really think so. Um, so I bought this beautiful this dress. There's a cancer gala coming up. <laughs> you know, people are going to hear this. That's okay. You're wearing hey, a revenge listening. dress to a cancer oh, gala? Oh, I know. This gets better and better. Just wait. <laughs> it does. So, okay, my ex, he's a nurse. Nurses are, for the most part, allegedly. terrible people, allegedly. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and and as a horrible person I decided to one up him and so I'm gonna take a orthopedic surgeon who is like male model esque looking to this <laughs> cancer gala with me and I have bought this beautiful revenge dress basically just to get the look of oh shit I fucked up you um, better fix that shit hey hold on. she's out I'm out Wait, Sarah you, wins I'm the only one in it what are you trying to uh, accomplish in the revenge so like what if I he does do look. that and he gives Perfect. you that look but then once you back like Perfect. do you want him to want you back no no not even I mean, a little bit I want him to want me back <laughs> so I can throw up my middle finger and walk out the door <laughs> happy and give me a ride home and move on with my life because I feel like there's no better revenge than to make somebody go <clears throat> Oh, man. I messed up. <laughs> or I screwed up, or I did something real stupid. Mm -hmm. You always hit them with your car, too. Though. You know, I thought about <laughs> that. I, I thought that. many things, but you know, I'd, I'd rather never see him again. And the fact that I get to see him at the gala is perfect. Did you kill his dog? I w oh. No, let's not go there. <laughs> Maybe he was giving you revenge for killing his dog. <laughs> FYI, she's fine. <laughs> she's fine. 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 No animals fine. were hurt in the production of this <laughs> yes. show. Gemma's fine. Um, no, I would never hurt a dog. Um, I, I, there's a song by Cherub. It's um, Emoticon Heart. Mm. Just listen yeah. to it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Done. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how far you can get ahead by being nice. And I, I agree with you. Like, you have to implement a little bit of anger and uh, revenge 
Do you in have the to be assertive. World. To be assertive. You have to that's be assertive. better. Yeah. I like assertive. It's a good word. Yeah, yeah. to make it. I don't think solely being nice will get you any further than being no. an a hole. It makes you look weak. In the business yeah. world, it makes you look weak. You don't want to be weak. You want to be powerful because that's what business is about. It's about yeah. the power that comes with it. If you look weak to people, they see it as a weakness if you look powerful to people they look up to you mm-hmm. yeah. just don't be poor for sure don't be poor that's uh <laughs> what a, does that have to do with anything who's the big <laughs> guy that just died uh <laughs> that died the computer guy uh steve not jobs. jobs steve jobs, uh, jobs. He, he's one of the type that ruled with an iron fist and made everybody nervous to be around him mm-hmm. but he also invited uh, criticism and stuff so you could go directly to them Elon Musk does it too where you can just down everything they're doing the boss and they're okay with it because uh, he wants to know the truth but he also gives the truth in a hardcore way and then by the time he was dying he resented a lot of what he did because he wasn't have nice the truth or would you rather have somebody lie to you about something I mean even I want the truth you don't like even when people have something to say and you don't like you're gonna be way angrier if somebody lies to you instead of just telling you the truth even yeah. if the truth is something that pisses you off to an extreme would you rather have the truth and be mad that once or would you rather have a lie and think things are okay and then find out it's a lie and then it that'd be more infuriating yeah, I will accept sure. a lie with money with money. How much money? I like Bribery. bribes. Yeah. I'm a bribe type of Just guy. Pay yes. me and lie to me. That's fine. I'd but... like to be paid in goats. Yeah, but <laughs> at the well, end of their life, like they feel worse. After you know what I mean? Yeah. What? Huh? At the end of their life, they feel worse. I, we had just had uh, recently a guy that I worked for. I'm not going to mention his name, but uh, he, uh, he killed himself over like money problems and business problems, mm-hmm. right? Well, allegedly, I don't know what he really Allegedly. did it for it. I'm not the guy I didn't do it yeah. myself you can't put him in prison for it but uh I don't f- I feel like that he did that because when things got tough he everybody was afraid of him during work and in business state they were afraid of him he was one of those guys that ruled with an iron fist and when it was time for him he was depressed and he was having business problems I assume and he had nobody to turn to because he was such an asshole that he had nobody to turn to in his right. time of need Hell so it, it backfires yeah. on you. Was he married? Did he have any children? Do you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he had children. He was married. He was he was Are older. I would too. say 50 or 60. 50 maybe? I'd say about 50. 50s or 60s, yeah. So he had lived a life, but and he was too far along to, you know, fix his problems, but he could have, you know, could have used a shoulder to, to cry right. and he didn't have any shoulders. Mm-hmm. Think, you know. But if he was looking for shoulders business it's hard to sometimes find that you know yeah, he wouldn't you might have found get a lot it for of sure. elbows <laughs> they want to take like, them out busting out have, them teeth if yeah. you have a family that's i feel like where you need to go for that kind of support because yeah. i don't I know how we well all they kind were of go through that oh Even yeah for sure a family i mean it's hard to say but like some people got to find a church some people got to find a group some yeah you gotta, gotta find, find something you have to find something someone somewhere mm-hmm. yeah well, and that's what, like depression, if you allow it to just hold you down and you don't seek out a church or a group or people or, you know, anything, meditation, exercise, yoga, something, something. if you just yeah. sit there and like you just bask in the... Let uh, it consume you. Yeah. It's something yeah. you don't need to be alone for. Right. right. Bask but, in but, but people are like, you know, depression is just too much and I have to lock myself in a way room. I get that. Like I can understand it completely, but without the other stuff... You're never going to get out of that. So right. do you like being here or do you want to go through the hard time of like going out and meeting people and talking about it or yeah. exercising or whatever? Any thing. Anything. <laughs> other than just sitting there things thinking things about that, it. Honestly, Anything every human being probably cat. goes through at some point yeah, in for sure. life. Yeah. Like, I've been there. I'm sure there's not anybody. Yeah. Somebody else is probably. Everybody, I feel like, in their life goes through that. Yeah. yeah. It is literally finding it in yourself to force yourself into an uncomfortable situation. When I found myself in a situation like that, I started making myself go to concerts. Yeah, by that's myself. a good one. I go to concerts by myself. Yeah. Because even if you're there by yourself, no matter what, everybody else who's at that concert, yeah. they're there because they like the same music at you. Exactly. You. Like, you, you don't have to have anything else in common. If you're dancing and somebody else is dancing, you have that's something it. in common with that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people at concerts are generally happy. They're generally upbeat. They're generally friendly. 
And I'm not saying that, okay, so concerts are right for everybody, but if you just enjoy walking, kind of though. Go, yeah. Yeah. if you if like you enjoy, fun, a concert is If for you, you enjoy anything, if there's anything you enjoy, whether it be alone or not alone, if you go do it and you just kind of, instead of focusing on the event itself, focus on the other people who are focused right. on the I'm fact not that alone. this makes this happy, you're going to realize that you're not alone. And yeah. you're going to realize there's other people. And you know what? You might not talk to them at first. You might not come out of your shell immediately because that doesn't happen either. But if you keep forcing yourself into uncomfortable situations, you'll grow. They eventually become comfortable. Hell yeah. yeah. For sure. They say yeah. growing through uncomfortable uh, situations. That's a big one. They talk about that in the book too, to, mm-hmm. to continuously put yourself in uncomfortable, like purposely put yourself in uncomfortable positions because yeah. without it, you Do won't grow. Do they talk about like a, an in-between time, like how long you should ruminate on it? Or whatever. Everybody's different. Everybody, oh. yeah. I think you should okay, just so like, like case by case. Know thyself. Go do this shit, and then. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if you don't know yourself, it's important to find yourself. So everybody just takes start different doing shit. Of time. You know yeah. what's crazy? Did, did you know Elon Musk dates some? Uh, I don't, I forgot her name. If you can look it up, he's either dating or married to uh, this weird musician yeah, like lady. Force oh, um. Down. Grimes, that's what the name is. Yeah, Grimes. that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. She's What's like, up? I don't need his fucking money. She's I'm like, out here just making my own stacks. <laughs> is she though? Because I've never heard of her. That doesn't mean Grimes, the world like Earl Grimes, Grimes who? Grimes. Girl. Oh, yeah. Grimes art. Yeah. I've got a record right over there. I'll let you listen. Oh, to so it. you do like him? She's Grimes into art. Rich. She's very artistic. She does she a lot of artistic stuff. Long. Her music is amazing. Um, they have several albums that just came out with a new one. I've got an older one over there. If you want to listen to it later, I'd be more than happy to put it on. <laughs> no, I'll check her out because I, I've never listened to it, but I know that like it's just a weird combination: this artistic musical lady, and then you yeah. have, uh, you know, yeah, that's you know. Her right artistic lady. And yeah. Kayla's right. gonna go poop, everybody. Shut up. <laughs> Good old Grimes. Oh. Apparently yeah, they're expecting a baby is what this says. I guess they'll make a uh they make a, a good thing. I guess cuz she's creative and she's out there and she's mm-hmm. uh different it kind of gets his mind in a, dif- a different area. They're both white, there. but there's a chance that it's co- it's still going to be considered an African American. Hey, so <laughs> so didn't he he recently have a uh a rocket too that, that Oh uh, yeah, collapsed. It collapsed. Yeah. I, I wish I had read that article. That. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I didn't read the whole thing. It might be a lie. Who uh, knows? Rocket Cola. What was the source? There's a lot of art. Well, art. I don't. Like, That's we remember right. our sources. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, we. Uh, come <laughs> like, on, get man. Get out of here. We're not writing a documentary. I don't know. There's a whole lot of. of uh, everyone wrote about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've started editing uh, terrible sources for my Google app yeah so yeah because there was like some hard rock net or whatever and there was like oh tom morello this and i'm like eh. i also want to put out in the world that if you go to GoDaddy, oh, uh, this is website. not uh advertising if you go to GoDaddy and get a website uh domain they name? screw you yeah. yeah don't domain name they screw you and they sign you up for auto bill pay that you don't know they don't ask you it's just fine print how do you not they assume charge it you every year why would you year. assume that? I don't assume Everybody's that Everybody's trying anything. to take your money. How's that right? Just how is that right for? Co- how can a company feel friend, okay about me. themselves for charging you money that you didn't agree to? Technically, right. I know you agreed to it, and it shows that. Technically, you most did. people don't know to read the little the and subcategories. And those people need to have their money taken. <laughs> no, it's be. I think these taken? companies what they do, taken. they build a website that's roughly. hard to understand for people, and they know that the people that are getting on there and trying to start a uh, website and stuff aren't right. the the you know the smartest. So they put on all this wordage, and then they they click it for you. So you have to unclick it. Mm-hmm. So you didn't click it to begin with. All right. You know it's what I mean? automatically like that. I wouldn't want to make money that way. Who wants to get ahead by tricking people? Well, most... It is shitty. Most, at least that I've experienced, if they're going to sign you up for auto pay, they tell you, you know, after however long you're going to be charged. So, like, uh, what is it, FYE? They have those magazines you can get. And if you don't uh, cancel your subscription after the free part's over, we'll charge you. And they tell you when the subscription ends, and this is when you need to cancel, yes. or you're going to be charged and they tell you so be attentive yes they America. tell you that's how it should aren't. be 
God. But this place did not tell you. No. Oh, that's some cold And shit. I found yeah. out that they tra- they've charged us like... The last two years. Two years. bucks. And we just caught it today because we were overcharged by another company. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I got on the phone... <laughs> I'm mad as hell. <laughs> chargebacks. But that, chargebacks. Yeah. 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 Most get, definitely. We're getting it back. Chargebacks. Oh, yeah. That goes, that. that goes back to, uh, like, being nice. Like, immediately, I was kind of an asshole when I got on the phone, and you could tell, like, he was a little uh, abrasive. Yeah. Not abrasive, but standoffish, whatever words for that, right? He was puffing up. Yeah, and he didn't like, you know, he wasn't going to help me out. You could tell, but then I was like uh, nice, and I was like overly nice to where I couldn't. We deal with this uh, inspector lady, right? And she's a complete inspector asshole lady. to everybody because she can inspector be. Lady. She she holds the power to to do inspections and permits. Yeah. And I, immediately when I walked in there, I was so not, <laughs> obnoxiously nice. Yeah. To the point where she couldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> I was just above and beyond, just smiling and all that. Like you can't you can't be mad at me. She and if you're an nice asshole. Then, yeah, she was nice to me. Most people, she's not. It it took him like three minutes with this guy to change his tune. <laughs> he was like <laughs> kind of rude at the beginning, and then he was, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I worked at it a was hotel. Like that. <laughs> it had to be that way before. We're like, you're definitely irritated by a person, and they're irritating the crap out mm-hmm. of you. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Hey. But then... um. And then you snap. Listen here, you stupid mother. I've only ever snapped on one person in a hotel, but that's a different story. But usually if you're if you're nice to him back, even if it starts rough, yeah. It's usually it a pretty easy recovery. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you like even when they start snapping back, when once you decide to recover, you have to commit. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Most definitely. That's cool though. I I'm good at recovering like apologizing beforehand. I've heard that if you um which is a part of another book that I was reading. But if you immediately out of the gate, when you screw up, if you um, are just overly apologetic and you blame it on yourself and you, you, you oh, know, yeah, take responsibility. Yeah. And you come up with your own punishment and all that beforehand that they don't really, uh, it kind of makes them change their tune. Like, Oh, I won't go that hard on this guy. Right. He so. sees the error of his ways. I think there's a lot of truth in the whole being nice thing. I think yeah. it'll work out. I agree completely. Plus, as I've said, not probably not on here, but I've said it's uh, I think nicer. It works out better if you're just nice to people because then if someone decides I'm gonna shoot, shoot this, this place, place up, up, yeah, likely they will not shoot you. In I'm the gonna face. let that nice lady live. <laughs> yeah, they'll she, shoot you in the foot. They're she, like, yeah, I have to shoot right. you somewhere. <laughs> she always uh, treated me like a person. <laughs> Here's your I, foot wound. While I'm murdering wound. people, I don't want to show favoritism. Yeah, <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> the other people won't take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> the other mass shooters won't take them serious. Yes. Look, that's Ian's like, crying. That's like the show with that song. <laughs> that song, you guys have to hear the song. Ian will cry through the whole thing. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, goodness. So no, have, no, you, though. have you all read anything um, good recently? Do you read? <laughs> I brought him home a book on hypnotism today, so we're hoping Ian can hypnotize people. Is that what's on the book? Because yeah. I was, yeah, I thought yeah. about get, picking it up and reading it. No, stay there. I'll go get it. You, you stay seated. That. Hey. I told yeah, you I would fine. do that. Yeah. Duke it out. The podcast <laughs> fight of death. Fight. <laughs> I've um, been hypnotized before. Have you all ever been hypnotized? I have. I think it's bullshit. I thought Did it was kind of like? fun. It was interesting. Yeah. I don't think I'd like quit smoking or anything over it i think that's willpower oh. over mind power yeah um but so i think it's believing in yourself but it's only so strong it's different it it's like out. going into like um what do you call that like a Anim- uh, like a dream suspended animation <laughs> what is like a what am i thinking of come on mm, you know it i don't know a lucid dream. Oh, a like lucid a dream. State. It's a lot like a lucid dream. I mean, they kind of guide you through what's going mm-hmm. on. It's like you're you aware of it, it, but not. It's almost like a director is directing you what to do. Mm-hmm. And in your mind, you, you do it. Guide. Yeah, it's a lot like that. Wow. I mean, it doesn't. I thought it was kind of cool. You're not going to turn into a chicken that's balking at a crowd. You don't know that. I How do, do you, know that's that. That's Anything is possible. What about the magicians that go on and then they make people like... Oh, that's bogus. Give them stuff out of the purse. And all that. Like, so what is <laughs> hypnotism then? 
Is it just a state guided of... Guided meditation. Yeah. So know? it's the same thing. So like if I tell you in three, the count of three, you're going to fall asleep or start, no, you know, no. it doesn't happen. No. no. Um, when I was hypnotized, it was a, a thing at school in college. Um, I think I, I just acted like I was in a band, essentially. He made us all play our separate instruments, like, but there were no instruments. But did you do but... it uncontrollably or did you know that you were acting like, you know what I mean? It's Did you have recollection? What was your, your consciousness level I, at that time? I tell, did tell it without like wanting to do it, but I knew it was happening. I oh, guess okay. is the best way I could describe no, see, it. I, always, I also did it in college. Yeah. And ours was decorating a house. You had to decorate a house. Hmm. And so same situation, different perspective. It's mentally, I was there decorating a house. Physically, I was sitting in a lecture hall. <laughs> just sitting in a lecture hall. I mean, I didn't get up and start moving things on the wall like, oh, now this goes over here. It wasn't like that. Yeah. But... <laughs> See, and I was moving. I was doing things. But they had a standing when it, the whole thing started out. So I was already up. And they basically were like, you're the drummer. You're the bass player. Yeah. And we maybe I should go and try to get hypnotized one time. One time. Ian has a book. Time. Ian could be good at it in a month yeah, or two. Yeah. I don't trust Ian to hypnotize say, you. I don't know. Hypnotize you. He'll be coming out weird afterwards. <laughs> Did you touch me? He no Lift longer has the letter E in his alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> Lift me over your head and hold me there for three hold days. <laughs> He's like, I'm just not sure why I'm doing this anymore. Lower me to the cheese. <laughs> what is life? I don't um, know, man. If you could be hypnotized, right? To change the behavior that you have currently, what would it be? Oh, it's a good know. one, right? What would that yours be, Ian? Slap more things. <laughs> That's not cha oh, it's so, because you don't slap things yeah. now. Because I'm all like, oh, I just, I just simmer down, no worries. But if I just come out swinging, why don't you Kayla, just start what would doing you change? That? Not right now, though. I'd be blocking a lot of Ian's slaps. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Learning defense is not an option. I'd need like more than one. All right. I, th I think that uh, that's a normal thing that I, there's a ton of my behaviors I want to change. Yeah. But it's like I'm like 30 is one month away and I'm like, oh shit, here it comes. And I think I need to be doing something grand. So I would change those, you know, Ooh, behaviors. Yeah. It took to to be okay with how things are. Yeah. Everyone to be okay with there. like how life moves and how the journey is. Yeah. Because it's hard to get okay with the journey of life, especially if you're in a weird position. It's like, I, I feel like crap most of the time about yeah. the position. The important like, part is leave the past. And, tw and leave the 20s in the 20s. Just leave it. Just leave, <laughs> leave it. it. Drop it. Run it. Away. Pretend it's like an old pop and you're done with it and you just throw it back. And no, you're like, mm -mm, I don't need that again. Mm -mm. It's empty now. And then just keep going forward. You're gonna, well, I mean, what? Won't you be know. me. <laughs> I yeah, didn't feel that way till 31, so... I 31? Feel, yeah, yeah took no, me to 31. It's like uh, when 29 hit after the wreck and stuff, man, I just lost my mind. Like, I need to be something, whatever. Like, I should have invented the new light bulb or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure everybody goes through that. And I hope, though, that I'm getting, like, you know, the midlife crisis out no, of the way on 30s. don't hope for that. 30s. Don't hope for that. What? Don't, don't go for that. Get it out of the way oh, now. Geez, it's something nice to wait for. <laughs> yeah. what, for what if Looking it never ends? It? What, the midlife crisis? Uh -huh. That'd be all right. As long as I'm like making you, something of my life. <laughs> right? It it ends. But if you were making something of your life, would you notice? Because Probably you not. do great things now and you don't think you're doing anything. No. Yeah, yeah. you dumbass. <laughs> Probably just downplay it all and just be like, ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, though, if like Elon Musk looks at himself and he's like, I'm just crap. You really enjoy Everything's Elon Musk. Crap. I do, man. I really All I enjoy do the is guy. Poop too much and spend money. I think he's an interesting character, man. I'm really Musk. into him. No I think there's a lot God to learn from him. Hell yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? He plays football. No, I don't oh, think so. Oh. Maybe. I don't know who he is. What? Don't want Wait, me. I don't do pop culture. No, oh, uh, I. What are we talking about? He's, What's an uh, Elon Musk? It's an Elon. You don't know who Elon Musk yeah, I don't is. Know who that is. The, the, Man, it's the Tesla guy who guy. created PayPal and now he's, he's SpaceX Tesla and he's Tesla. Tesla. Do you know that the Teslas came out S E X and then Y? You know who he is. <laughs> That's true, though. Oh. No, they did come out that. and they spell sexy. He probably like, did that on purpose. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sure he I would did. I hope so. I'm sure he did. 
It's like my parents well, naming me with three A's. Awesome. Awesome. Assholes. Yes. I don't do They got the, do the Tesla sexies. Yeah. It comes <laughs> out S E X and then Y. Those are like if you ever get behind one, check out the model of it. They came out S E X. I hope, I hope the awesome. next one is the M. Sexy M. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, just, what was mm. it the B? It's gonna be a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and another mark for you. And it then there's sucks. a comma. And oh, then a <laughs> comma. This is our comma version. Green beer really gets seen going. <laughs> it's not even green. It's just it's like, it's like duty water. Ohio Unhealthy water. piss. That's why I switched to wine. So so Ian <laughs> and Kayla that. wanted to make green beer. Uh, and they came out with something that looks like they dipped it in the Ohio River. Which, yep. if you're unfamiliar with, is disgusting. Yeah. Disgust, yeah. Like mur- muddy. <laughs> Baby poop colored water. <laughs> but Baby poop. Yeah. it is kind okay. of green. I saw the neck lock, the lock Ness. I'm, I'm a little drunk. Baby poop. <laughs> Baby I, saw the lock Ness. Poop. I saw the Loch Ness monster in the Ohio River oh, on come the Second on. Street Bridge. The no, other that day. was. No, that I was swear a to God. I swear to God, it had a tail and it was. Did you bigger. take a picture though? I, I no. was driving. Was, I don't even talk on my phone. It was while too I drive. shocking to document. But I thought the same thing as you. I was like. This broad is stupid. It's just trash. In the, no. trash you saw it. You yeah. saw its tail. It that had a tail. Ian was there. Hmm. Ian it saw it. It had a tail. It had arms. It had it fins. Had... They're fins. They're, it's oh. not a tail when it's it had, in the water. It arms. had water it had arms. arms. No, Ian uh, saw it. Tea. This is true. We yes. saw some sort of... Form. It was a fish. It was a In the Ohio River. Fish. It was bigger than my Jeep. I have a Jeep. It was, it was bigger monster. than the I can I can Goodness. see that it might have been a fish. It might not have been the Loch Ness. It was the Loch Ness. No, calm down. Don't. But it you might have just been a huge fish. For another you know what I mean? You don't think that after all these years that Nessie may have had babies? Either that or oh, you... Oh, man. Like, if there <gasps> wasn't a Nessie before, right? There is now. There's something there. that evolved <laughs> to be the a Nessie. Just because we, we brought it into... Existence. For, yeah, yeah, with our thoughts. That's, a Most That's what definitely. we've done. I like evolved. that idea that Nessie wasn't real, but people have believed it long enough that Nessie is now real. Yeah. It's what, like God. What if it was God. just a, a trash God. monster? <laughs> trash monster. Yeah. yeah. What's like up, that, Ted? That thing from uh, God uh, uh, Dogma, where he comes out of the toilet. Uh, a poop monster. A poop monster. Poop monster. I don't the remember. A, I don't remember a poop monster in Dogma. What? It's a Golgothan. Golgothan. It's a shit I guess. Mon- I hope it's a right. shit demon. A I shit don't demon. remember that at all. Well, we'll watch that later on. Yeah. It's in the strip club scene with the muse and Chris Rock. See, I remember that scene. Yeah, <laughs> and then it comes out and they're all like, ah. <laughs> 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 Yes. Uh, bye, I had to get a good one. Yes. yes. Interesting. Make so it had a parents. tail. What else did it have? Fins. Describe this thing to me. Dark. Wait, are we talking about the poop? It was fat. No, no I'm we're talking about messy. It. it was fat and oh. it was the shape of like. Yes. It was the shape okay. of. Okay. All right. So I used, to, like that. <laughs> I used to volunteer at the shed and they have beluga whales there. Okay. It was fatter than a beluga whale. Okay. Oh man, it had a skinny head. And it was dark in color. You are the aquatic expert. I am the aquatic Lay it expert. Out for him. Skinny head. <laughs> Had a skinny head. <laughs> so it was head. dark in color. It was either green, <laughs> blue. It was a dark color. It was darker than the water, so Certainly blackish. Was. But you ever seen the color of um, carp? Yeah. 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 It was the color of a carp. Okay. Um, but bigger than a jeep, with a big old tail. <laughs> You remember that thing we watched that it was and like the and memory? It looked like, the fish like you on your add shirt. things Have to the memory? Yes. As you, every time you remember it, you add something yes. to it? Yes. I think that's what's happening. There Don't is, worry about it. Just drive over the second street bridge. Happening. Keep your eyes peeled. It looks like a log at first. Take a second look and then slow your car down to about five miles an hour to piss everybody off behind you. Keep looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> you will see that thing is some sort of. Fish. It commands space. I've actually heard of divers who've gone down there before who have seen catfish the size of cars. Oh. That is a I've known, heard about that. Yeah, that yeah, is a known sure. thing they've said oh, they've that's seen. That's horrible. So, I'm I cool mean, with that. it didn't look the shape no. of a catfish, but if there are catfish that are that big in that river. Who knows what shape they are? <laughs> or what kind of, like, yeah, I mean, or how big they get. I mean, but on top of that, like, the Ohio River really isn't that deep. It goes. 
anywhere between about 30 and 90 feet, except where Jeff Boat used to be from where Really? That's it? Yeah, 30 to 90 feet. Tell them about that time you almost drowned. I don't want to talk about like, the time I almost right. drowned and my friends were dicks. Um, <laughs> so, I grew up in Florida. I can swim like a boss. The Ohio River's a bitch. Don't mess with her. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but like, except where Jeff Boat is, it gets down to about 120. I from can't where believe they it's like deeper out. than that. But it's about 30 to 90 feet at any given point in the Ohio River. Huh. Um, I thought it would be more. Yeah, It's for very sure. wide. It's, it's crazy. not super not deep. Wrong. So for a fish to actually be that big in that kind of aquatic setting, and you're talking about a freshwater fish, and I'm saying this from the standpoint that I did volunteer at the Shed Aquarium for like seven years. So for a fish to get that big is... I, th- I think it's where it's, it's coming impossible. from. Well, it's almost impossible. Oh, like, but you have to understand that with me saying it's almost lake. impossible, we just had all the floods in the Mississippi River that happened from all the rainfall, which came over into the Ohio River. When that kind of thing happens, um, when I lived in Florida, you know, freshwater meets salt water. You get a lot of manatees. You get a lot of different sea life you wouldn't see anywhere else because they can definitely breathe in salt water or freshwater. So, for it to rain that much, for the Mississippi to flood as much as it did, it flooded something like 23 other rivers, including the Ohio. My God, that's crazy. Anything could have floated. In there, yeah. Upstream. And if it's any kind of creature that can breathe two types of water, it's fine to survive there. It doesn't have to breathe one or the other. Interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, honest to God, with the floods we just had, it could have been anything. Yeah. So I don't know where the Ohio River comes from, but it comes, it comes from, from the a Mississippi, lake. which comes from the Gulf of Mexico. If you follow it up into Pennsylvania, it branches off into it. And I'm not going to try to say this river's name because it is definitely <laughs> very much Native American and I don't know how to say it. And then once again, and it goes branches out into believe lake erie and also in the, to the atlantic yeah. yeah yeah it's uh lake erie yeah. is where it it so seems like it flows down from so maybe there's a uh a big creature it doesn't flow down it actually flows like half down and half, half it flows, down half well down. it flows from the mississippi and it flows, okay so the falls of the ohio used to be 23 foot waterfalls and that would have been the break in the water they dam that up that's no longer there the water flow gets iffy and floods it okay. wouldn't flow from north to south it would but with flooding and the mississippi being where it was flooded <clears> and not <throat> eerie it would reverse the transition of the flow of the water so we would come. That's crazy. From... My God. It's hard to follow this lake. I feel like an idiot when I'm going in. Well, Erie, it, it, oh, you know, yeah, there's the five lakes, so there's its own, but the Gulf would be the other half of which it would wind up. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. So really, if it, if it, oh, right. oh got you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know, man. I think there's a lot of the uh, the yeah. ocean that we have no clue what's in the depths of that. Like, right, it, they definitely no don't know. I don't know why we explore space when we don't know what our own ocean holds. Because, mm. our because ocean the ocean have will kill us. Every... Yeah. Oh. So can space. But so like, space definitely kill you. You can go to space. Space is so much friendlier. Did you watch my video? You finally no, watched it's my not. video. No, it's Did not. Did anybody not. else see the video <laughs> of the supernova from the black hole the other day that created? It was the largest explosion documented. Yeah. Yeah, no, I sent it. it to him during your guys' last podcast. It was and the I largest it was documented I would have explosion. To read. In and the it wasn't universe, it was a video. Right? In the universe that we've ever seen hmm. as human beings on this I mean there could have been bigger. We just uh, we've never seen one. Historically. And NASA ever. caught this on camera and now there's a whole new galaxy. A whole new galaxy. But That's it's awesome. Way more dangerous out there than in the ocean. Most definitely. No. It's perspective though. Why? How do you deal with water? How do you deal with water pressure? You build better pressure tanks. Yeah. Do you? I don't know if they can. They get down it's to so the. So goddamn easy. You're how right. far down can they get as of right now? As uh, far as like depths of the ocean. I don't know. Uh, that's a I very good question. It's a question Several for the person that has feet. a laptop for sure. I feel like the. Bring it to the laptop council. To the laptop council. Even if you could get down that far, the matter of being able to see in front of you would be an issue, no matter how bright of a light you had. I yeah, guess uh, wicked fish in there. Ain't it cool, oh. though, that in the depths of there, it's like pitch black and the fish develop lights yeah, on that's their body? Very they're, cool. They're to luminescent. The only jellyfish that are luminescent are deep sea jellyfish. Other jellyfish cannot become luminescent because they have no need. 
I wish my life would just get like really hard and I just developed some muscle. <laughs> it was like, oh, it's okay. Life's hard. Here's a new muscle that <laughs> yeah, can so it'll get you through it. Get you through there. Like so nothing the, on a human does that. The furthest that we've been down the ocean is 35,858 feet. 35,000. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. We're missing out on a whole bunch. I said we could go double oh, that. No. If we took all the money invested in space research and put it into ocean. Wouldn't you rather Oceanic. do space though? Oceanism. I'd rather do Ian space. Keeps me I'd rather do right? the ocean. I'd rather what? do the ocean. Yeah. This is I bullshit. It's <laughs> just bullshit. <laughs> Listen, I Because what if there's something else out there the for ocean. us to see? Ocean. There's nothing in the ocean. We know. I'm not going to find you a new civilization you, in the ocean, but I could know. find it in the space. Ocean. And it's not about do other you, human beings. We're animals, just like anything. You have I animals who live in the ocean. What about whales? space people. Do we're you animals. know how I see much space people? They want to fight you. We're animals, but them. we're the best animals. I think that's what the government wants you to believe. Like they put out all these movies and and TV and shows what do you with think space about invaders. The moon landing. I mean, come on. The whole video. I think it's fake. The yeah. video is fake. There we go the fact that we landed yeah. on the it's, moon it's is fake. not fake. The video is fake as fuck. But like the fact that we landed on the moon, that's not fake. We did. But how come no one's ever been back? Is there a weapon up there? Was there something they don't want us to see? Either I don't way. Know. Do you really like want to go to space? Re-question yourself after you consider moon your government sharks. is hiding something moon from sharks. you. Ooh, I like moon sharks. No, no. Not that's why I, I would uh, much I rather like go to outer space. I think there's more to learn from outer space than there is to learn from our ocean. I don't, I don't, I don't agree, agree with that. that. Yeah. Oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> no. We're what not going to... Be- yeah, what cut about like, down. things that can benefit Burn you here on Earth? Things in space can't necessarily benefit you on Earth. Things in the ocean... I mean, your There's body an alone is made more out of nothing water but gold than anything. That can benefit right. me. Yeah. <laughs> more than an the ocean. An asteroid of gold <laughs> is not going to be found by you. You're not going to benefit You don't know. <laughs> my, you, you don't know, know where cool. I'm going in life. <laughs> you know how many cool chains I can get out of that shit? Bring me it. When you get there, just bring me a small shard of it. Shards Remember my name. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla, shoot or shout or shoot. He still shoot. can't do it. You know her name. You I'm scared of, of it. Think I'm scared about, of the name. Think about like you take like a shot of whiskey. Shot. Yeah, there you go. Shot. There you go. Yeah. You say her last no. name though. Shot. There you go. Kayla, Aww, shot. You, you yeah. did it. What's okay. my middle name? Ooh, I don't know. I don't even know the letter. Just guess. Uh, Elizabeth. I- Emily. <laughs> Why'd I say E's and that's funny. It starts so with a close. D. You were both very close. <laughs> Diane. That's what I was gonna say. That would be why. way Diana too is job. my sister. Uh, what's your middle name? Danielle. Oh, Dan- all the girls, close. all my all my sisters are named something with a D except me. <laughs> I got a middle with name a with a D. Yeah, my other sisters are something with a D. <laughs> Gayla Denzel. It wasn't sounds so bad, Denzel. but there's a lot of us. There's nine of us total. That's your new. Denzel, name. Kayla Denzel. Kayla Denzel. All, all women? There's none of you all women? Not one boy? There was the one. Ba- okay, my dad said he wouldn't stop until he had a boy. So number nine was a boy. Dang. Yeah. It's a lot to go through for one boy. Took man. three wives. Three wives. Yeah. Well, he finally yeah. did it though, didn't he? Uh, I no, him and my mom didn't last either. <laughs> he actually was engaged once after her. So how's the boy doing in life? Did how he, did he make it pretty far? Oh, Eric's successful. He's, he's really kind of under control. Oh, okay. He is the most normal out of all nine of us. <laughs> it so seems normal. like somewhere along the line, like so, you have nine. You ever uh, seen the movie Multiplicity? And no. then like so, the one's retarded. Uh, <laughs> the other one is like machismo. Like I'm machismo. ladies, man. Oh, the bad guy. <laughs> one's like very feminine. One's like so. I wonder along the line, it, does that happen in real life? Like this one has <laughs> the characteristics of being nice and whatever. The other one's an asshole. Yeah. The other one's retarded. <laughs> we don't really talk about that one too much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Which one would you say you are? Uh. Tell them. I'm the second to youngest, so I'd like to call myself like. <laughs> so since I'm the baby girl, I'm the baby girl, like yeah. which is an easy role to be in. Rebellious. Oh no. yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, rebellious. Um, 
I'm the baby girl too. So baby yeah, girl. it's a good place to be at, yeah. right? Like it's a good place to be at. Baby girl. Like being my brother being the youngest and the boy is definitely like the favorited. Yeah. But I think it's more of a I did it kind of thing than like a, I love I him know. more than the others because I don't think he was like loved more than anybody. I think it's just like a ha ha <laughs> kind of moment. Um, with it's a the jackpot. With the sisters, you've got the one we don't talk about. You got. <laughs> you got one that's like kind of manly that the dad put into sports before he had a boy because he was like, I just need. Yeah. That yeah. would be me because as child number eight, I think he had given up on having um a boy. So when I was very young, I got put into hockey. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you should do this. You should do that. It was a lot of um, <laughs> make me proud. Yeah, it was a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, like, and and I love it, and I'm glad that I am the way I am. But like, it's um different. Because, yeah. like, at the same time, I wanted to be, like, a girly girl. But, like, it was, like, you play hockey now. I have more friends, probably, who are dudes than chicks. And it's just because I grew up That's in That's good, st- though. Mm, it's give and take. <laughs> but I grew up more in the standpoint of, like, you should succeed. You should play sports. You should do this, that, and the other. And my dad raised me. My mom wasn't around when I was little. So, like, my dad raised me. So, it was a lot of... What are you doing in my dress? <laughs> so it was a lot of like, I really looked up to my dad. I didn't really have like a female figure to kind of like look up to. So like right. looking up to my dad was like, well, I want to be like him. I remember for the longest time he raced indie cars with those parachutes on the back. That's and I, cool. all I wanted to do when I grew up was be a stunt car driver. <laughs> I just, I wanted to be a stunt car what driver. What happened to that? Yeah. Uh, I died in a car accident. Yeah. But driver. she still drives like a lunatic. I do. It's Maybe so more true. so now because Every she's now like. Every now and again, even inebriated. But we won't talk about that here. <laughs> that nothing is... can stop me. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, <laughs> but I still play hockey. I've been playing hockey since I was 12. Where do you play at now? Um, Iceland. Yeah, Iceland, oh. yeah. I've heard good things about that place. Yeah, I've always wanted to go, but I'd we be shit on going, skates. And I know that in Groupon they have a shit. things. It we is hard. Go. We should all go. Can you just go it's, now and uh, yeah, like, motherfuckers need to ice skate around. with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like certain hard. times that you can go just to skate. You don't have to be like playing around to hockey I like can't. I do. Yeah, Which like those old school thing. skating rinks. Yeah. Like being the girl who does get to kind of like be a tomboy thing. You wind up doing stuff like that, like playing hockey and fighting people. And you think fighting is normal because you grew up idolizing your dad and your dad liked to bar fight. And like, <laughs> you, you, I mean, oh. <laughs> Ian knew my dad. Ian? You, Are you, you more aggressive dad. in bed? I, I saw more as like far the, as like yeah, probably. Side. You know what I mean? Like yes. you, you, dem- you like you <laughs> rule the room instead yeah. of like the well, guy. I don't know that it's so much that way. So much as more just aggressive, maybe. Just, yeah. Yeah. I don't know that assertive. it's so much of a ruling thing. So much as a. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on my own. I can do this better than you. <laughs> you just sit there yeah. and shut up. <laughs> shut up. Take, shut up. Do what this. I tell you to. No, I don't. I don't need them to take anything. I prefer a giver. But you know, giving, taking, <laughs> giving and taking. Yeah, yeah. Giving, giving it just and got taking. creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. No, it's good to be a tomboy, but it's also good to be a girl. Like girl, it's I like up. wearing dresses. Yeah. I like beating the living crap out of people. Both are solid. Oh, right. Jesus. That's why you just kick ass while you're wearing a dress. Okay, oh, yeah. I, I, I definitely have a Simmer mouth guard for when I play hockey. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm I'm the shortest person. I of have course, pur- yeah. I have, yeah, I have purple down. skates. I'm five foot tall. Yeah. And there she is <laughs> in the chomo I glasses. Have, I have a mouth guard. My mouth guard is demon teeth. So when I oh, skate yeah. up to people in my purple skates, I just smile at them and they get a mouthful of demon teeth. <laughs> and I think their immediate <laughs> response is, oh, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's that. I'm gonna fight her to death. I'm gonna fight her to death. You've seen me fight. I'm gonna score all over her. You've seen me fight. I'd be a terrible dad if I had a bunch of girls. Uh, if I had one girl, I'd be a terrible dad. Not a terrible dad, but I'd be overprotective and and you mean, you uh, just it would just drop be all hopes She'd of being be a really good re- one? rebellious and uh, she would go behind my back a lot, and then no. I'd be disappointed, and I'd be no. like, you know. "That's why you can't be overprotective." Yeah, you can't be yeah. overprotective. You gotta uh, let them make their own mistakes. They'll screw you up, Sarah's and you know what happens when they screw up? <laughs> they run to daddy. That's what happens when little girls screw up. They run to daddy because they don't want mommy to know. Mom's they run to daddy. Think I'm stupid. You think I, I could be the, okay with that? I did the opposite of that. I went to mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love your your mom. dad's very aggressive, though. Not aggressive, but uh, 
he like intimidating. Yeah, your very dad intimidating. Told me once. That's what it is. He's he precise. said, "Your dad gave yeah. me job advice once. He was like, listen. Of course he did. Yeah, your dad. <laughs> your dad was like, listen. Look at this chick. <laughs> he said, if you're gonna be on the job hunt, you know you gotta quit." Smoking that reefer so that reefer. you can pass that drug test. That's what he said to me, he too. He did, too. That's exactly what he said yeah. to me. And I was just like, I just kind of looked at him because I was like, my dad had passed several years prior, but I was like, did you just give me life advice? Like, yeah. <laughs> dad can't help lesson. it. He just gives life advice. No, I love you, Dad. I dated Dad's a girl <laughs> one time and my dad looked at me and was like, you're going to have to stop selling weed if you're going to be with her. And I'm like, okay. what makes you think that this girl is above me selling weed right like That's what if I mean. she wants to sell it with me dad yeah she's selling it <laughs> yeah allegedly she's weighing she want, it out for what me what if she wants a partnership <laughs> yeah and he yeah. goes look at me stocks coming yeah and now though look it's about to be legal so now if you have the ability to sell weed and be good at it right uh you could be profitable and get in a business it's never gonna be legal the whatever dude what? yeah did Here, they already I'm turn around i'm on this one no, I'm just keeping an eye on it. Oh, okay. I'll tell you when. Hey, if you're just tuning in, this is a transitionary period. Transitionary. We got, uh, we got to maybe camera down. We, we got, could uh, possibly have the best parents. We got Kayla Pooh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, uh, We do have the best parents. <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty solid. I don't give a shit who you are. You can't <laughs> compete with them. No. 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 That's how, uh, but would it have killed them to have a little more money? What? Just <laughs> give us. You're an asshole. <laughs> then it wouldn't be, uh, you know, I've always thought about that. You want to have like rich parents or like so that when they pass away, when it's that time that you inherited a bunch and stuff. But really, would you really want that or would you rather work your ass off to get it? Yeah, I'd rather work respect for it. it. No, I definitely yeah. want the first one. <laughs> no, <You> just, pass. <laughs> who wants I don't know to if I do it. <laughs> like the people who have the um, what are the trust fund babies and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like as much as that'd be cool, I was watching an interview with Gary Vee and he had somebody in the office that had uh, that, and he looked at it like, you know, I'm screwed for life because now even if I'm successful, they're gonna think that I. You know, made it just because of the trust of fund. Who I am. Yeah. yeah. So d- living a in your, your a shadow you're of rich. somebody who did something great makes you. Yeah, but stop th- this worrying is, about your legacy and just stack that money. This is why rich people hang themselves and blow their brains out and all that yeah, stuff. Eat spade. It's Money's not what not it is. <laughs> That's a hard lesson to learn. I'm sure. And I'm sure if I had it, I'd be mad as shit right now. Something else. It'd be something else that I'm like, oh, I gotta get this figured out. Well, and a lot of times in in families that are very wealthy, you don't really have an option of what you do in life. They're just like, this is we have the family company, and this, this is, is what biz. you're doing. You will not and disgrace my name. That would be really terrible. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you could also yeah. just set it on fire. Tell them you're going to be a housewife no. Like instead. an Asian family? Yeah. <laughs> an Asian family, yes. they're like, you don't dishonor the name. You do, you do nails or you cook That was chicken. racist. <laughs> that was racist. I'm sorry. Getting weird on weird. here again. But no, that I would hate to, if I lived in a family that were like, I had to live up to a certain expectation, I definitely I fell because... Knowing that, those. you know, the, the, what they set down in front of me, like I'd have to do. So I couldn't get out of that and right. have any dreams. You just have to be good at whatever they just tell you. stuck there. No, to hell with that. It would right? be really horrible. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I still don't know what I'm good at. You've never sat down and like really meditated on it and thought about like I can't it's meditate it's, for shit. Oh, I can't meditate God. for shit. He's right. That's not a lie. You can get hypnotized, but you can't meditate. Yeah, it's weird. As long as somebody <laughs> else does the hard work for me, I'm good. That's right. <laughs> somebody just come in and <laughs> hit you hypnotized. in the head with a bat and just knock you out and whisper <laughs> things in your crow, ear I like you have a crowbar. Come at me with a bat, I dare you. <laughs> I'm sneaking up on you during your sleep. <laughs> oh man, he already right would face. get me if it's during this. I slept through Hurricane Dennis. No, those are rough Ouch. ones to wear. Well, Let's I come just, back I to that. Hey, this see. broad slept through Hurricane Dennis. Okay, it ripped the roof off of my bedroom, and well, I well, did. Don't, don't give it all away at the beginning. Oh, she doesn't. She, she blew her load right out of Look, the gate. I don't even care. That's who I am. Look, so it. it ripped the roof off of my bedroom um, where I lived in Florida, and um, I, that didn't wake me up. Three feet of water that fell into my floor didn't wake me up. I woke up to my uncle carrying me into the other room and I was like what are we doing why are you carrying me and he said well you might die if you stay in your room 
I'd Sounds be. Like uh, that would happen to me. I'd definitely Is wake up if somebody guarantee? sneezed. I'd be like, "Who's there?" If <laughs> I if I barely <laughs> move in the bed, he wakes I wake up. up. I'm man. super I'm, pissed yeah. at Ian for changing is. his work schedule because I don't know how. To I get didn't to work. choose it. I don't know how to get to work on time now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you guys want a key, you can come wake her up. Anybody who wants to come wake me up, I would be very grateful. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to wake Kayla up, call, give us a call. Do whatever you got to do. I mean, it really doesn't matter. My brother's had pots and pans. I don't know the extent Ian's gone through. You know, Oopsie, a hurricane you tried. Get it. Basically, anybody who just thinks it'd be funny, feel free to come try to wake me up. I'm so okay with it. Shoot through the window. <laughs> Please the don't window. shoot me, but that's fine also. But miss to the left. Yeah, yeah I don't know, man. That's uh, uh, well, I've thought about it too because we bu- we bought a gun recently uh, for her <laughs> for while she's working, and it makes me think like. Could I get to the gun fast enough if somebody... I could, but you definitely... Could. I don't know why we got it for you, because you would just continue to sleep. You would just have to wake oh, me up. With the gun in your face. <laughs> Sarah, wake up. Uh-huh. Like, wake, I got it. it ready. It's loaded. Come Gotta on. Go get these people. <laughs> I don't know that you think about that. And, uh, if you've ever been woke up by something that really scared the piss out of you, yeah. you can't really oh, think for that first little two minutes. You're just frantically running around. You guys like, have I don't cats. Know the yeah. Have you ever woken up to a cat hairball? on top of your bed with you. Uh, no, puking maybe. Oh, here he I goes. have. And, yeah. Oh, thing. hey, baby. Hey, I'm this glad puking you on you for sure. Yeah. It's like they're talking about me. Let me get under the table. But I don't know. I don't know about getting to a self-defense uh, mode I right know, out of it sleep. Would be terrible. Getting to it. I freak out when I'm trying to get the cat from puking and I'm like <laughs> running to the kitchen yes. to make a puke on the nololium. 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 Uh, I don't know. You all are What's terrible podcast guests yeah, today. You, I just <laughs> want you to know today that. Today has, <laughs> <laughs> has been really horrible. No one's going to listen to this. <laughs> so see, you get loaded uh, before, yeah. during the podcast, not after, or yeah. before. This was Ian's both. idea at Bramian. Yeah. It's pretty both. Yeah, both. You got to wait till yeah. after. Yeah. Get the, get the <laughs> vocals out. No. <laughs> Wait till he sings the song to you guys later. You'll love that. I don't know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. What? Oh, no. I got plenty to rant about. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you a little something about... Uh, I, I don't think I... No, it's fine. I don't think I made any notes. Has anybody here what? ever been harassed in the workplace? And I don't mean sexually. I mean, like, actually <laughs> harassed. Like, not... What's the true definition no, of harassed? No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, Disregard so. that. No, I just want to know if anybody's been harassed. I don't think so. No? Not that I can recall. Adam? Uh, no. I don't, well, yeah, maybe, I don't know. You don't know? No. Man. Yeah. I don't know. Work, work I'll just for, act against me here. Yeah. Right? I think I, I had, but back when I was like working at can't McDonald's and shit. Hmm. Oh, no, it was definitely one time sexual. No, so I don't know. Sexual. All right. That's all I need to know. Okay, that was it. That was oh, the end of it? that. <laughs> We're harassment, everybody. All Not right. sexual harassment. No, none of that. We all uh, we all like that just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. At least a wee bit. <laughs> well, that was another at the humble abode of Kayla and Ian. This yeah. is Kayla and Ian's house. Look at the fireplace. Why does my name come first? All because magic. I'm above you, bitch. No, well, yeah. My name is first alphabetically. <laughs> I'm taller. I'm They're closer to me. I'm young. She's a lady. Uh, a lady. Yeah. I can't argue with Prove that. it. <laughs> do you see my revenge dress? I do. I've seen that. Thank you. Yep. I do. It's very, it, I think it's going to win. And whatever you're trying to accomplish, I think it's going <laughs> to really, really knock out. I really appreciate that. That yeah. means a lot to me. Thank you. I agree. And if the dude <laughs> doesn't, to hell with him. Just hit him with a bat in the head. Just poop on the floor. Don't shit, take a just bat with I am you. down for the oh my god. Don't take a bat. Shit on the floor. If you find shit one on the in the floor. bathroom, you hate him too. Fuck it. I know, but if you find one in the bathroom, it's one you thing. Ready? But if you take it, it's premeditated. Call it out. I'm the only one who didn't drop the F bomb. Episode forty-nine. Go Sarah. Forty-nine. You had a moment. I thought you did. Whoop.